Today I'm going to be going over my top 10 best clone fragrances for summer of 2023. So when you take a look back on my channel and you look at the clone content that I've done, a lot of it has been centered around heavier, sweeter fall and winter time scents. That's not really going to cut it anymore because we're heading into, you know, the spring summer seasons here where it's a lot warmer and those types of things aren't really going to be nearly as popular right now. And so with that, I need to start making a shift in my content. And so I've been kind of trying to ease into some fresher things overall here on the channel. I just dropped my top 10 summer designer fragrances video here recently. Check that one out if you missed it. Everything was right around $100 or less. A lot of actually was really affordable in there. Uh, this video in particular, we're focusing on clones. Great clones for summertime. These are going to be significantly cheaper than what they are cloning. So if you want to save some money and you hear about hype scents all the time, you just don't want to spend that money. These are going to be some great alternatives for you. I will drop links to these down below. When it comes to clones, uh, you don't really have the option to go into your local department store or anything like that and pick these up. You're pretty much stuck to shopping online and for a lot of these, you're kind of stuck with blind buying as well. Uh, some decant sites will carry decants of some of the popular ones, but a lot of these are a little bit more under the radar, so to speak, because they're a bit newer and they just haven't populated yet. So I will drop links down below. We're kind of staying in the $40 and under range for this one, but there might be a couple outliers. I do have a mailing list you could sign up to as well. Fact of the matter is, some of these clones are so good that they sell out. And anytime they do, you can uh, get on my mailing list. And once something like that does come into stock, I will send out an email which allows you the opportunity to pick it up for yourself before it sells out again. Number 10, we have Amir Sadrat Essence by Paris Corner. So Paris Corner has branched out and done a, t a ton of different things. Um, this is one of their lines as well. And you know, if you can kind of tell by the name of what this one's going after, your assumptions would probably be correct. This is a Mansara Sadrat Boise clone for around $30 or so. Now, I know what you're thinking. The original Sidrat Boise is pretty affordable as well. It's a hair under $100 most places on discounters. So you might just be thinking, okay, just go out and get the original instead. But if I were to cast that sort of generalization on my audience, that would be very unprofessional and very unfair and quite frankly, just dumb because everyone's uh, financial situation is different and what people are comfortable with spending in this hobby is going to vary from person to person. So while for some people that difference might not be a huge deal and you just go ahead and get the original, the Mansara, for a lot of people, this is nice savings even still, you know, and this is one that does hold up very well. It does have the fruitiness, the woodiness, the sweetness going on. Now, I will say with this one, it's at number 10, not because this clone is bad, but because when it comes to summertime, I've pretty much limited this DNA to summer evenings. Summer daytime, it's still a little bit too warm and sweet and woody. So if you want a nice summer evening date night scent, a nice more upscale professional scent to wear just in the summertime, in the evenings, you know, in general to a dinner or something like that going out, this is one that you could go with and it would smell fantastic. Number nine, we have Afnan Tarathi Blue. So this is actually a clone of Bulgari Tiger. This one focuses heavily on the grapefruit, the musk, the woods, and you know, it might not look like a summer scent on paper when you're focusing on the notes alone, but when you actually get this one on skin, you smell it, you realize that it does have a real nice, bright, sparkle and pop to it from that grapefruit and it is the star of the show it's a nice fresh musk as well this is one that smells amazing when it's warm outside you know you might want to pick the best days for it maybe 110 degrees the hottest of hot summer days you know it might be a little bit too much but if you're smart about it you kind of do some planning ahead of time if you have a little bit of a, a cooler summer day or something this might be perfect for it and realistically a lot of us are probably spending a lot of time in climate controlled environments during the summer as well depending on the day or whatever and this type of thing would be perfect for that as well here at number nine at number eight, we have Armaf Club de Nuit Milestone, which is a clone of Creed Millicene Imperial. So this one's been around for a while now. Armaf Club de Nuit Siage would have been another great one. It's a clone of Silver Mountain Water. 
probably a little bit better for spring, I guess. Well, maybe not necessarily. You could kind of go either way. But Millicene Imperial, this DNA, definitely has summer written all over it. It has this watermelon, ambroxan, or ambergris, fruity, fun, playful, sweet type of smell to it with a little bit of a C notes in here. It smells amazing. I mean, you guys know this DNA, and this is a great interpretation of it at a fraction of the price. The main issue with the real Millicene Imperial, the Creed, is that the performance to price ratio is an insult. You really, you're spending a lot of money, not getting a lot in return on that front. Quality, though, is really good and definitely would make up for it there, although to me it still isn't really worth it necessarily. So this one, performance is not beast mode by any means, but when you take a look at the price difference, you can spray this one heavier, you can reapply, and you're just in it away a lot less for a product that ultimately is going to end up saving you a lot of money. Number seven, we have Latafa Sakrat, which is a clone of Aqua de Joe Profumo, which is one of my all-time favorite designer scents. And also, one that I really enjoy in the summertime. It's another one where summer evenings are my favorite time to wear Aqua de Joe Profumo. I've said this since the very beginning of my channel. If you don't believe me, go back and look. It smells like a summer night on the beach. I really do think that because you have the aquatic notes, right? But then you also have this incense patchouli kind of smokiness, which provides overall kind of a mysterious aspect to an overwhelmingly fresh and aquatic DNA. It was different at the time, and even now it still kind of holds its own. There aren't too many other things out there using that same type of incense patchouli combo mixing with an aquatic, you know? So this is a great interpretation of that for a fraction of the price. This is right around $29, $30, maybe a bit more, $35, but it is an eau de parfum, and Aqua de Joe Profumo is going for like $135 for the 125 ml bottles. So big savings for a fantastic summer evening scent. At number six, we have Imperium by Fragrance World. Love the bottle. I think it's really cool that they did this. Uh, I'm sure Roja probably doesn't like it. I'm sure uh, niche snobs do not like it either. But uh, I have a ton of Rojas, and um, it is bizarre how close this is, especially the cap. I mean, the cap is, I mean, it almost is like the same thing. It's really weird. I mean, just look at this. Here's a bottle of Isola Blue. Not comparing color, obviously, but I mean, that is legitimately the same cap. It is pretty crazy. So yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't need me to tell you what this is a clone of, but I will anyway for the video. It's an Elysium clone, and it's a really good one. Way better than I thought it was going to be. I saw the picture, I knew what it was going to be, and even the name kind of alludes to it. But I was like, yeah, you know, they're cloning the bottle. They're kind of taking a dig at the name. But does it smell similar to it, or is it going to be trash? But it is so close to the point where it's almost crazy. It's almost unbelievable. It's a great Elysium clone. One of the best out there currently that I've smelled. And this DNA, no surprise, is great for summertime. Elysium is one of my all-time favorites, and I love to wear it in summer. This is a nice, affordable option at around $40. At number five, we have Armoff Trey Nui Lyric. And so this is going to be a clone of Aqua de Joe Profondo. So yeah, I guess we have two Aqua de Joes in the video, but um, they're different. They're quite a bit different, actually. So Profumo, more of your nighttime, evening out, date night, summer scent. It could be used during the day as well. Profondo, though, I think is exclusively a daytime Sun is out, summer scent. I mean, yes, of course, you can wear it in the evenings as well. And if it extends into the evening because the performance is good, nothing wrong with that. It's going to work great. But this DNA really does shine with some heat on it. You know, the heat, the sun really activates it. It brings it to life. The mineral notes come out. The orange really comes out. It just gets so much more interesting and so much better with that heat. It's casual, but it also can work as a formal scent as well. This DNA is very versatile, and you know the real deal is upwards of $100, right? This is around 30 so uh, maybe even a bit less, actually. Great savings, great price, great performance, great scent. At number four, we have Maison Alhambra, as you can see right there. Yeah, Eau de Parfum. 
It's Y-S-O-Y-E-D-P. You know, these brands are savage with their uh, presentation. I have to give it to them. It's pretty entertaining. But I do like it, and the reason why is because I believe a lot of the reason, this is crazy, but a lot of the reason why some people are so against clones is because of the presentation and maybe even because of the name sometimes. The fact of the matter is a lot of the older style clones and clone brands like Armoff is still doing it the old school way. Um, you know, Al Haramain, they've kind of upgraded in some aspects, but a lot of their other stuff. A lot of the clone bottles look like clone bottles. They have that Middle Eastern look. They just look kind of cheap, a little bit gaudy, a little bit obnoxious, and they don't line up with, one, the real deal, but two, a lot of the stuff on the designer market. And so when you buy a clone, you want to display the things that you're spending your money on if you're collecting fragrances, but it doesn't really fit in. It, it sticks out in a bad way, you know? And so I think that's one reason why people don't like clones sometimes. Obviously, it's going to be as well because it's an art and you shouldn't clone it and blah, blah, blah. That's a whole different camp. But I do think that with these clone brands kind of taking a step into this direction and making the bottles more aesthetically pleasing, that is a big, big positive. And I'm not even saying that they have to completely rip the bottle off like some of them are doing, but just make it a little bit more pleasing to the eye, a little bit more modern and clean like this. And they're on to something. So yeah, no surprise, this is a clone of Y.O. de Parfum. I already covered that, and you already probably knew it anyway, but it's a great one to have for, again, around $40. Y.E.D.P., it's a great one to wear in the summertime. Some people may disagree, but I've worn it um, pretty consistently over the past several summers. Uh, the heat, to me, doesn't make it completely unbearable. Some days, maybe, but other days, especially in the mornings, mid-afternoon, when it's not cranking too bad, it doesn't really bother me. And I actually kind of like it with some heat on it. It's a nice one with that nice fruity apple and the lavender, the aromatics. It's a great DNA. At number three, we have Latafa Mahir Legacy, which is a clone of Parfums de Marly Sedley. So kind of going after um, Parfums de Marly, the brand with the cap on uh, this bottle here. Um, and this is kind of what I'm maybe talking about a little bit. With the presentation, you know, it, it, I guess it's not as bad as some, but you know, this type of thing, maybe not everyone would like. Uh, I can tell you though, it's a fantastic clone and I love Sedley, okay? I've liked it since the very beginning, since I first got it. It's personally my favorite fresh summer offering from Parfums de Marly. The main issue with it has always been price and especially now more than ever, because when you look at most discounters, they're carrying Sedley and other Parfums de Marley's, but they're carrying them at retail. Doesn't really do you any good. Believe it or not, there was a point where Fragrance Net, Fragrance Job, X, Joma Shop, all of those sites were carrying them at a pretty heavily discounted rate. And now all of those are not. The only one currently that still will carry them at a price below retail is Fragrance Buy. But for obvious reasons, they're out of stock often because people are just going there and buying them now and they just can't keep them on the shelves. So that's kind of a bummer. I would imagine that other sales will pop up, PDM sales like in the past, but it does kind of put a, a little bit of a, a limit on that discounted price. So that's where this one comes in. Really gets that DNA down great for a low, low price. Next up, we have Al Harmain Amber Oud Blue Edition, which is actually a clone of Blue de Chanel. More so EDT, EDP. This one doesn't really get close to the parfum. This DNA is great for summertime. It could be great for any time of year. It's very versatile, classy, upscale, a little bit more mature, very masculine. So um, for any situation in the summertime where you have something important to go to, you want to be taken seriously, uh, out of the entire list, this would probably be one of your best options. And this is kind of what I'm talking about with Alharmain. You know, they're stepping up their presentation, but does that still look clone-ish to you? You know, it might. Definitely doesn't look like a Dior or Chanel or YSL or Armani bottle, but it's a step in the right direction. And also with these Amber Ouds from Al Haramain, they're a more premium product. This is one that might walk up over that $40 price point a little bit, but you are getting a significantly higher quality product than a lot of the other clones out there on the market. You know, they're, you're spending more for these, but you also are just getting a much better product in return. 
Last up, um, one of the cheapest ones in this video at number one uh, from Armoff, it's Hunter Intense. And this is actually the new Eau de Parfum. So these were only offered in an EDT, but now if you can see it right there, it's actually an Eau de Parfum. They just kind of switched it over without really announcing it to the best of my knowledge. It just kind of showed up to where like Fragrance Net had a new listing for Armoff Hunter Intense, but it was listed as Eau de Parfum. And I bought it because I was curious if it was, you know, a mistake and it's it's real. It's an EDP. And now the EDT listing just sits there sold out because I just don't even think they're making the EDT anymore. They just switched it over, which I'm not complaining. So what is this a clone of? It is a clone of all of the blue scents is one way to put it. You need a little bit of Sauvage, a little bit of Aqua Atlantique, a little bit of Invictus Aqua. So I guess not all of them. I guess you could say there's a little bit of Dylan Blue and a whole bunch of these others and not really any Blue de Chanel though. So I guess that was kind of a, an exaggeration, all of them. It's a clone of those three, you know, Sauvage, uh, Atlantique, Invictus Aqua. And I love it, especially at this price. You know, if this was $50, $60, I would not be nearly as excited about it. But at 20 bucks, we're talking dirt cheap price here for something that does have great performance and emulates a lot of those blue fragrances, which all of them are expensive and two of those are discontinued. So if you're looking for a great compliment pulling beast that will legitimately never let you down in that department and you're gonna be smelling amazing all summer long, you've got to get your hands on this. There's no reason not to at this price point. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for me. 10 of the best fragrance clones for summer 2023. Let me know down below some of your favorites. And again, I will link these down below as well. Fragrance Buy is likely gonna be your best option for picking these up, at least most of them. And again, that mailing list, hop on that. It's important because if you are wanting to get any of these that might be sold out, I promise you, once they come in stock, I will send out an email. Uh, not even just clones though. Uh, most of what it is is designer scents. Lanoui Delone Blue Electrique has shown up lately. Dior Own Parfum also has popped up lately. The One Luminous Night, uh, Dior Fahrenheit Parfum, Guerlain Lomadiel Extreme, the list goes on. Each time something like that comes in stock, I send out an email. It is a tool that will help you a ton. It will save you so much time, so much money. I'm taking all the hard work out of it to help you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.